At the forefront of professional RC racing, the quest of every RCGP team is to find the pinnacle of power and reliability to propel them through this gruelling series. So we sat down with Mario Rossi, the man behind one of the most successful engine brands, Reds Racing. Mario, can you give us an idea of the power and performance of a little tiny engine like that? After many years of uh, experiments and uh, tests with the best drivers in the world, he managed to come out with this new platform and uh, it's top notch about the um, RPM and the uh, mileage and everything and uh, right now they are really happy on how it is uh, performing into um, any kind of fields. So how many RPM will that engine run to? From uh, 30,000 to 45,000. And of course it produces a lot of horsepower. How many horsepower that engine has? It's around uh, 2 HP. So with 2 horsepower from 3.5cc, that makes it about probably the most powerful engine in the world of motorsport. Like more powerful than F1 even. If not more, they are close. Well, these small engines are certainly capable of big things. But as speed is the name of the game, let's open her up for a super quick look inside. You have the liner there with all the holes in it, the, the ports. How do you design the liner? The ports are uh, really important for the mileage because the position of the ports indicates the, the mileage and the flux of the fuel into the engine. Looking at the crankshaft, is that now a standardized design? So it's uh, actually an old design, but it can be tuned more than this because if you do other holes, uh, the risk is to break it or maybe the improvement is not so huge. One thing we've not talked about is the thing that's stuck on top of the engine, that's the carburetor. Is that now a standard part or is the Red's carburetor a special item? They work a lot on it and the most important part is that part because it's what delivers the power to the engine. It depends on the length and they change the, the characteristic of the engine. The needle is really, really important more than anything else. The main needle is not so important as the low needle. The 3.5cc engine has been around for, well, 40 years now. Are there still any big improvements to be made? Now they reach almost their full potential, but right now the point where they are focusing on are materials that they provide a good, good performance. 